Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my recap of 2016 and my best and favorite beauty products of 2016 and I'm so excited about sharing this with you. These products are definitely my favorites, my holy grails, my ride or dies. I mean if I had to go somewhere abroad or on a desert island these would be the products that I would bring with me definitely, so that's how much I love them. And before starting the video, let me just say that I'm not going to go too much into detail about the different products because you have heard me talk about them so much during this year and if not, go back and watch my old videos. I've only got one product in each category, like one foundation, one concealer, one blah 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 blah. So I've really been good this year. So if you're interested in seeing my personal favorite products for 2016, Keep watching. So let's we'll start. The first product that I want to share with you is obviously my favorite face primer. I'm just gonna go in chronological order when you're like applying your makeup and so on. So my favorite face primer cannot come as a surprise at all if you've been watching me at least. It is obviously my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base Primer. It is both like a cream, like a face cream, day cream, and it's also a primer in one. And honestly, almost all skin types can use this one, whether you're dry, oily, combinated, normal, whatever. It is just so great because it's also oil-free, so I can highly recommend this one. Then for foundations, I've got two categories, one fluid foundation and one stick slash cream foundation. The first one is the fluid one that I want to share with you and this was really tough for me because I'm a foundation hoarder. I've been trying out so many new foundations during 2016 but the one that's definitely still in my heart is from Delilah and it is the Time Frame Future Resist Foundation with SPF 20. This is just amazing. Right now it is way too dark for me because I've only been using it when I've been fake tanning but as you know 2016 was definitely my year of fake tanning. I've never tried wearing it once where I was like this looks cakey or this looks wrong. It has just always been perfect on my skin. There's just something about this foundation that just makes it slide on and glide on my face so nicely. It looks amazing. And the funny thing is that I haven't heard anybody else talk about this one on YouTube. I don't know why, because it's amazing. I love this one. I can highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. And it's actually amazing for all the skin as well. And then moving on to the stick foundation. I feel like this once again has been the year of stick foundations for me where I've truly discovered how amazing they are. The one that's definitely stolen my heart is the one from Makeup Forever. It's called Ultra HD um, Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. I think it was like in the middle of the year there was so much hype about this foundation and I was just like come on it can't be that good and then I got it, tried it and I was like I was sold. And if you're wondering, it looks like this. Amazing stick. I, I can't fold it. Also because it's not too mattifying on the skin, it's not too dewy, it's just a very nice finish. And then for my favorite concealer, this cannot come as a surprise at all. And I think that I mentioned this one as well last year because it's just that amazing, I guess. It is from um, Urban Decay. It is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. The best under eye concealer in the entire world and you can also use it for the rest of the face if you've got some pimples, redness, spots, imperfections, whatever you want to cover, this will cover it without being heavy or cakey or too much. I've gone through so many bottles of these now, it's, it's kind of like embarrassing almost, but that's just how much I love it. And then for face powder, once again I've got two categories, one pressed powder and one loose powder. And the pressed one, honestly I've been trying some different ones during 2016, but the one that I've just gone back to again and again and again is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And um, it is so freaking inexpensive, but so freaking good. It just works every single time. To me, it doesn't feel heavy or clingy or cakey or too powdery on the skin. I've just got it in the transparent version. It's kind of like a no-brainer for me, so I've always got it in my bag actually, so I love it. And obviously for my loose, setting powder, come on, <laughs> you all know it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. There's just nothing that beats this one. I just haven't found anything that feels as lightweight and looks as good on my skin as with this one. It is just amazing. So now let's move on to my favorite contour bronzing palette or kit. I guess once again the one that I had to go for was definitely the one that I always just went back to again when I've been trying out some different ones and that one was definitely my Kat Von D Shade and Light um, Contour Palette. It is so dirty, so used, especially that color right there. 
that one and that one and that one those three are my favorite shades and actually when I've been really lazy I've also been using these as eyeshadows Kevin D just does some amazing shadows and amazing contour things and um, this is definitely my favorite for 2016 and kind of sticking with the palette theme because as you know with me I'm not the bigger blush girl as you can tell I'm not wearing that much blush so the cheek product or palette that I've gone for as my favorite because I've gone back to it again and again and again once again <laughs> is the one from Urban Decay it is the Gwen Stefani what are you called um, blush palette and um, I don't know if you can see how dirty it is once again. I love the one called Hush, I love the one called Lo-Fi and Angel and OC. Those four has been my go-to colors. Those two, they're pretty, but once again, a bit too pink for me and my personal liking. I'm not sure if this was a limited edition. I think so, unfortunately, but it is definitely worth it if you can get your hands on it. Now, for my favorite highlighter, this is the only place where I've kind of like been cheating, but it's because one of the products that I'm going to share with you is actually a limited edition product. It's kind of like a shame to show you, but I just have to anyway because it's been such a huge favorite. And the one that I'm talking about is the highlighter from MAC. It is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the color Oh Darling. And um, it is just so freaking stunning. I don't know if you can see how much I've used it, but the pattern in it is totally ruined. I've just been using it so, so much, both as an eyeshadow and as a highlighter and just all over glow kind of thing also on my body actually i just really love the color of it it's just so stunning but unfortunately that one is a limited edition boohoo but the other one that i've been loving 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 so freaking much it's from anastasia it is the one uh called so hollywood and this is just so stunning once again i totally ruined the pattern in it because that's how much i've been using it it is my baby and i remember when i got it i was just like <gasps> dying once again very goldy very shimmery very beautiful and just very pigmented as well i love pigmented highlighters and come on I'm a highlighter kind of gal, I can't help it. I love me some highlights. And now we're moving on to the brows. I just tried so many different amazing brow products that I've been loving so, so much. So this category was probably my most difficult one to pick just one product. However, I've done it. It's not even fair just to pick one, but I had to. And the brow product of 2016 that I've picked out, it is from Bobbi Brown. It is the lower brow gel in the color blonde and um, it's dead, <laughs> it's totally gone. I got this one in kind of like the middle end of this year, 2016, and I've literally been using it so, so much. You can use this one both alone as I've done today. You can also use it on top of any other brow products because it is kind of like a setting gel as well. It's also got some tint in it. And I also love the feeling of it in my brows. It feels a bit more crispy and a bit more set, and I like that kind of feeling. And for brow setting gels, I had two that I was going back and forth between. If I had to go on a desert island, what would I bring with me? I would definitely bring my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is a light to medium shade. I can fold it. I love that it gives a bit more of a crisp feeling to my brows. I think I've gone through three of these during 2016. So once again, it comes to tell how much I freaking love it. Moving on to the eyes and eyeshadows and so on. The first thing I want to share with you is my favorite eye primer. And once again, can come as a surprise. I've been using this one every single time or almost every single time I've done like tutorials or get ready with me's. It is from MAC. It is the um, Pearl Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. It is just the perfect shade and perfect thickness when it comes to being an eye primer. It's my favorite. I've gone through two or three of these. It really makes your eyeshadows so freaking pigmented. And now we're moving on to eyeshadow palettes. And um, I've got two different categories here. One for like everyday and then one for more like nighttime or adventurous looks if you get what I mean like more colorful looks for my more everyday neutral eye is the one from Kat Von D it is the shade and light eye um, contour palette that one that one that one that one and that one and that one those are my favorite shades in this palette but I'm just gonna do a really quick simple everyday eye makeup this is a palette that I go to because it's just so simple the colors are really pigmented they're all matte shades which I like for an everyday eye so it's perfect and for the more colorful adventurous artistic um, night out looks um, I've actually chosen kind of like a collection kind of thing from a brand it is from Urban Decay and it is the Vice palettes that I am in 
effing love with. I love the Vice palettes. As you will be able to see, once again, I've used it so freaking much. It's so dirty. And I just love the colors. They're so pigmented. They're so beautiful. Just look at that. I mean, I can't fault them. And this one, I think, is the Vice 4 or something like that but also stunning colors. I just love the variety and the, they're so bright and colorful and I love the design of them as well. They're just so cool. And then I've got a category called kind of like glitters or pigments and um, let me just say that MAC wins 100% when it comes to like pigments, like loose pigments and just glitters and so on. I've got many of their kits um, that they come out with for Christmas time or something like that and they're my absolute favorites. I just love the colors and I love the selection and they're not too expensive either. And then for my favorite eye pencil, I don't have one specific one that's my favorite, but I've got kind of like a collection or a line of um, eye pencils that are my favorites. And it is once again from MAC and it is the, what is it called? Chromographic Pencil Collection. There are so many cool colors. They're amazing and you can easily use these as eyeshadows. You can use them as liners as well. Either just amazing let me just show you this one for example just look at the color just look at the pigment just how soft and smooth they are then for my favorite liquid liner there's one that just stood out to me for the entire year and that is definitely the Kat Von D once again Kat is on a high it is the one called Teddy Liner and this is one trooper it's just a satin black color and it's just stunning it is so good I've been using it today unfortunately mine is kind of like dried out now so I have to go pick up a new one definitely but it's been lasting me for such a long time and it is kind of like this felt tip and it's just the most easy thing to use for doing like a wing liner or just a liner in general and the last category of liners is gel liners one that I've just really really loved so much is um, Sigma and their standout eyes um, gel liner this is just um, a black color it's called Wicked. I don't know if you can see it, but I've almost hit pan on this one and it's still not dry and it's very black It's very intense and I like that. It's very easy nice texture. It's not too wet. It's not too Thick if you got what I mean. It's not too dry either It's just a very nice texture and it's very easy to control and work with and now for one of my favorite categories Mascara and once again as with foundations. I'm a mascara hoarder and I've been trying so many different mascaras once again, it's been really tough for me to pick just one, but once again, I have to think which one would I bring with me on a deserted island, which one would I go back to if I just had to use only one for the rest of my life for right now. The Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. It is a drugstore mascara and I'm, I'm like, I've got so many amazing mascaras from the high-end market as well. But if I have to be honest, this has just been the one that I've gone back to again and again and again without without even thinking about it. And I love the brush because it's kind of like angled a tiny bit. It's not too big, it's not too chunky. You've got some longer bristles right here and then some shorter ones down there. Very, very, very easy to control. That is the eyes done. Now let's move on to the lip area and the lippies. And um, let me just say that 2016 has been the year of my lips as well. As you know, I got lip fillers in 2016 for the very first time and it's been such a life-changing experience for me when it comes to like the lipstick and lip gloss world. Normally, I wasn't too confident when wearing lipstick because I felt like that my lips were too small for that. So um, getting lip fillers has definitely changed my game when it comes to lipsticks and just lip things in general. First one, let's just talk about my favorite lipstick, which I also mentioned last year because it's my go-to color. And it is from MAC. It is the one called Blankety. It's an amplified um, finish. And this color, this color is amazing. It's my favorite. Just apply a tiny bit on top. I don't know if you can see how nice this color is. It just really works so well for me and my skin tone. and. It's just my favorite nude. And moving on to my favorite liquid lipstick. Try so many different ones, try so many different brands. However, I'm gonna stick to my one true love, Anastasia. As you know, Pure Hollywood was my absolute favorite go-to color in the entire world. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it ever since I ran out of it. However, I found a new color that I truly love so, so much. It's called Stripped. It's just such a great stunning color. It's a bit more of a beige undertone. You've seen me wear it a ton, both in my everyday life, but also just 
in videos and so on. The texture and the finish is just impeccable. I haven't tried any other liquid lipsticks that are as good as Anastasia's. And then for my favorite lip gloss for this year, I've been trying many different ones once again and I've really fallen in love with wearing glossy lips as you can see. And the one that I've just really, really fallen in love with is from MAC. It is the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the color Boy Bait. I love this color. I love that it's so nude and so pretty and so perfect. Once again, very nudey, very great for everyday wear. I love the feeling on the lips. It's not too thick, it's not too clingy. It's just a very nice texture and I love it. And I just love the color. It's just amazing. And for my favorite lip liner 2016, once again, it's been kind of difficult because there's been so many that I've been loving and just gone back to and used a lot. But one that I've just fallen in love with and that I've used up it is from Delilah Cosmetics and um, it's a one color lip line longwear retractable pencil in the color Secret. And I don't know what happened. I haven't got it with me right now. I think it's in one of my bags or something like that. But I've got the packaging right here and as I said it's called Secret. It's just a great nudie shade. A bit more of a deeper, darker nude but I like that. But what I love about them is that they're waterproof as well. They're very dry in texture but that also means that they stay on for forever for like the entire day. I love it, can highly recommend it and once again Delilah is just amazing. And a new category is gonna be my favorite lip plumber because I have to mention this product because it's been life changing for my lips. It is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. When I don't know which color to wear or if I don't really want to wear any lip color at all, I just wear this one because it plumps up my lips but it also kind of like enhances the best color in my lips if you get what I mean so it actually looks as if I'm wearing some sort of a color on my lips so it's amazing I can highly recommend it if you're not into that tingly feeling on your lips don't go for this one but if you do like it as me this is good Ooh. that was it guys that was a lot of products definitely but those are definitely all of my favorite makeup beauty products for 2016. It's been an amazing year for beauty products definitely. There's been so many great launches, so many great new products and new brands as well that I've tried out. And I honestly think that the year 2017 is gonna be cray cray when it comes to like new products and new brands and just new developing things in, in the beauty industry. I can't wait to see what happens. So if you did enjoy my little recap or big recap of my 2016 favorite beauty products, please like and also subscribe to my channel so you can follow me during 2017 and we can find some new great loves together. And um, yeah, other than that, I don't have anything else to say than I love y'all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Mwah.